Hi and welcome back to my channel you guys I'm excited about this week's travel video because this week I'm going to be sharing with you something that came across my desk uh, one day last week so as you know the Federal Trade Commission puts out some really really great information and I would encourage you to go to the website uh, www.ftc.gov to look up information about scams on as many things as you can think of well this one happened to come across my desk and it was entitled getting a vacation rental watch out for scams and this is this article is by Ari Ari Lazarus and she's a, a consumer education specialist at the Federal Trade Commission and so she wrote this blog post so if, I would also encourage you to sign up for the blog post as well because they have some really really great stuff that comes out so let's talk about making sure that you are not getting scammed on vacation rentals because guess what y'all it happens all the time I've seen enough complaints in the database about people that contacted a phone number about a vacation rental paid their money and got nothing so when with summer upon us plenty of us are still running around trying to book a last-minute vacation rental if that's you here's what you need to know scammers are ready with fake vacation rental ads and you have got to know that you've got to be very very careful especially if you go on to Craigslist because not everything on there is legitimate so rental scammers try to get your rental booking and take your money but when you show up for the vacation you have no place to stay and your money is gone and here's something else a lot of times these scammers are so good they will put up a rental that doesn't even exist Okay, so you said you spend your money, you send them your money for this rental. You get on the plane or you drive, get to your destination, and it might be an empty lot. You see what I'm saying? Or it may be a legitimate uh, location, but it's not even a, a rental or someone's home or something like that. So you've got to be careful. So here are some of the ways that they pull off this scam. So some scammers start with real rental listings, okay? Then they take off the owner's contact information and they put their own in, in its place. The new listing on a different site, and they put that new listing on a different site, though they might continue to use the name of the actual owner. Sometimes they will use the real owner's name, sometimes they don't. But they're going to, you know, change the, the information for contacting the owner, for the owner. In, order, in other cases, scammers hijack the email accounts of property owners on reputable vacation rental websites. So other scammers don't bother with real rental. Did I just share that with you guys? They make up listings for places that aren't really for rent or they don't even exist. To get people to act fast, they often ask for a lower than average rent or promise great amenities. Their goal is to get your money before you find out the truth. Okay, So how do you avoid being a victim of a rental scam well number one don't wire money or pay with a prepaid or gift card for a vacation rental once the scammer collects the money it's almost impossible to get it back now here's your red flag here's your red flag and not just for vacation rentals but just in general here is your red flag if someone is asking you to pay for something with a prepaid visa card a iTunes gift card because that's the one we see the most an iTunes gift card if someone is asking you to pay that way it is a scam I cannot stress this enough I cannot tell you how many people have contacted us and said you know they were contacted by somebody be it vacation property be it a house rental property or be it paying a bill because that's a big one too the contact you say hey you know you owe this bill and you say okay well let me go ahead and take care of this okay we need you to go get an iTunes gift card and then put this amount of money on it come back and give us the numbers on the back they act quick 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 and when they get that money from that card it's a wrap you're not gonna get that money back some of them don't let me say this some of them do not there have been in, uh, cases where the consumer was not out of money because the scammer did not go and collect the money off that gift card right away and so this the the consumer was able to keep their money but that is that's the thing that right there that is the red flag if you don't see any other red flag, any other signs that is your red flag they're asking you to pay with a prepaid card or they're asking for an iTunes gift card nine times out of ten they'll ask for the iTunes gift card if they're asking for payment in that form it is a scam period point blank you don't need to go ask anybody else it is a scam number two don't be rushed into a decision 
If you receive an email pressuring you to make a decision on the spot for a rental, ignore it and move on because chances are that's a scam as well. So they want to get you in. They want to make you think if you don't jump on this right now, this opportunity is going to go away. You're going to miss out. No, it's not because there is no opportunity. But they're playing on you. You're wanting to take this vacation and the thought of possibly losing this rental. And so that's why they do that. But do not fall for that. Do not fall for it. Okay. Number three look out for super cheap rates for premium vacation properties below market rent can be a sign of a scam do some extra research to confirm the deal is legitimate before you jump in and I cannot stress that enough nine times out of ten if it's super cheap like when I say super cheap if you look at rentals and they're going for two thousand a week and you come across this this notice and they're only charging 600 for the week honey the chances are that's a scam it, it has to be especially when you look at all the amenities and you look at the the, the location of this property chances are it's a scam because you have to remember these scammers all they want to do is is quickly get your money they're not out to necessarily get top dollar whatever they can get they want to get it quick and keep it moving number four get a copy of the contract before you send any deposit let me say that again get a copy of your contract before you send any money because I can promise you this when you call someone and you say well I need to see a, a copy of this contract before I send any money and they him and how they say oh we, we don't do that it's a scam sweetie because nobody is going to deny you that when I book properties for my family for our family reunions guess what they send me the contract before I give them any of my credit card information because I need to look it over and make sure I'm okay with everything in that contract I need to look that contract over and make sure I'm familiar with what what the requirements are so that we don't you know get into trouble or 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 you know anything like that so if they're not willing to give you that contract before you send money and they say oh well no you have to send us the money first then we'll send you the contract honey it's a scam it, it's a scam so if you come across any of these types of ads, the Federal Trade Commission, the Federal Trade Commission wants to hear from you. So report it to to the Federal Trade Commission at ftc.gov forward slash complaint. Okay, but if you go to the website federaltradecommission.gov and you on that main page, if you're not sure, you can type in the search box uh, file, how to file a complaint and the, the complaint assistant will pop up and it will allow you to file the complaint. And, and whatever information you have, we would love to have it. So you can you know, put in there the company, that contact, the company that you contacted or the person that you talked to, a phone number, an address, and in the description box as much information as you possibly can. Um, you know, you note if you pay them any money. If they ask for the money, how did they ask for it? All of that good stuff because the Federal Trade Commission takes this kind of stuff very seriously. Very seriously because this is huge. Some of you may or may not know this, but this is a huge thing that, that we're seeing that people are getting ripped off. So I want you to make sure you have, you, you're in the know so you don't fall for a scam. And if you're not sure if it's a scam, you know, like I said, contact the, the Federal Trade Commission. I'm going to leave the the number to the call center in the description box you can call, call, call that number or you can go online <clears throat> excuse me you can go online and look through the website and see for yourself but if you want to talk to somebody you can co always contact the call center the agents there are more than happy to talk to you answer your questions if you need to file a complaint they'll file that complaint for you as well so again I will be sure to leave that information in the description box if you sent money, now listen, if, you, if, if you've been contacted and you send money to a rental scammer, contact the company you use to send the money, such as your bank, Western Union, MoneyGram, Green Dot, iTunes, Amazon, or whoever it is that you use, and you tell, the trans tell, let, tell them that the transaction was fraudulent. They may not be able to get your money back, but it is, it, it's important to alert them. And just like we want to hear about it at the Federal Trade Commission, contact that person or those the company that you bought that, that payment through. But again, if they ask you for any of these things, 
Western Union, MoneyGram, Green Dot, iTunes, Amazon, any of that, it's a scam. Because nobody's going to, no reputable company's going to ask you to make a payment through those, um, through those means. They're just not. This way they can quickly get your money before you realize that you've been taken. So please, you guys, not just during the holiday season, but all year long, tell your family, tell your friends, especially if you have senior persons in your family or, you know, your circle of friends or whatever, let them know that if you are asked to pay with any of those things, it's a scam. So I'm going to leave those in the description box as well because I want you guys to enjoy your summer. I want you to enjoy your travel period and not get taken because I see it every day and it's just it's a sad thing especially when someone says you know hey this is all the money we had for our vacation and I believe that this was a, a legitimate site and now my money's gone so I've got to tell my kids guess what there's not going to be a vacation and that's a horrible thing because you're out of money and they're disappointed. But and if they had stopped thinking, I don't. I never say this. I would never say this to anybody. But they, if, if they had stopped to think that a legitimate company is not going to ask you for a green dot card for payment or iTunes gift card, come on now, iTunes of all things, they're not going to do that. They're not. So there you have it. I want you guys to remain scam free. Go out and have a great, great summer, a great fall, great winter, whenever it is you're going to be traveling and not be taken for your money. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much, my newest subscribers. Thank you so much to those who continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. And I look forward, as always, to seeing you somewhere on the beaches of the world. Until then, take care.